Today on the Under 5 Plus, we are upgrading the build surface from the stock glass surface to a big old magnet with PEI on spring steel because it works well. So out with the old and in with the new. Now, we need to apply the magnet to this surface. And in order to do that properly, we're going to be using the wet application method as it allows you to get everything absolutely perfect and uh, not have as many imperfections as a dry method if you were to peel it and then have to lift up again. And to do a wet application, we just use some Windex or generic glass cleaner will do. Now before we start to go and apply the magnetic sticker, we want to make sure the surface that we're adhering it to is nice and clean, so wiping it down with some isopropyl alcohol or some other solvent ought to do the trick. Squirt solvent, make sure we get every single bit, especially the corners where glue is more likely to lift. Get it nice and clean with a lint-free cloth. That way no oils will prevent the glue from sticking. Now it's important to note that uh, the build surface on the Ender 5 Plus is not technically a square. It is in fact a rectangle. So if we have it like this, it fits perfectly, but rotate it 90 degrees and suddenly it does not fit perfectly so keep that in mind now to uh, do a wet application we basically just take this stuff spritz the entire surface down with it and then we'll even spritz down the glued side as we undo the glue and we'll apply it so with the machine off we're going to put a liberal amount of this stuff and this is here so that we can reposition the glued surface uh, a little bit as we put it down because chances are you won't get it perfect the first time. And this allows you to have some flexibility. Now it will take time to dry. Now as we peel this back, we're going to spritz on the glue. That will give us a nice surface that is nice and lubed. Now let's see, I do believe this is the correct way. Now you can see that it's not going to stick right away. And that is perfectly fine because the reality is this glass cleaner is going to evaporate and when it does, the glue that is underneath will remain and then adhere. But this allows you to move it and shift it and get it exactly where you want it. So once you get it applied in the position that you want, we do want to squeegee out as much of it as we can. So we'll take just a card of some sort that you don't care about. And we're going to squeegee from the center outwards while holding everything in place. Now, it can get a little messy, so for that reason, you're probably going to want to have yourself a towel of some sort. Yeah, we'll just have it here. So, as we squeegee it out, we want to capture all the liquid, because if you look right here, liquid is coming out. Da, 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 da. We're going to do this for the entire surface and uh, just go in all directions and get all four directions taken care of. Once you have as much of it squeegeed out as you can reasonably get, you're going to need to let this dry overnight so that way it does not shift anymore 
So it's going to take at least 12 hours. But once it's done, you'll have a nice flat surface that is perfectly set. And when you squeegee it out, you're also helping it get flat. It's been about 12 or so hours since we originally applied this uh, glued magnet onto the surface. And it seems to be sticking pretty good. I can't feel it lifting at all. So now it's time to put the spring steel on top and see if everything holds properly. Now this is a big old piece of spring steel. That's why we got a big old magnet for it. Seems to stick pretty good. Let's see if I lift it off. Does the glue for the magnet come off? No, nope. everything seems to be holding just as planned. Cool. So our magnet is definitely working as it should. Things ought to stick a lot easier on PEA without the need of glue stick or anything like that. Still got to clean it every time you're done using it with some sort of solvent like uh, isopropyl alcohol. But its properties for adhesion and then release are fantastic. It's one of my favorite surfaces.